my name's Keith Rucker, and uh, today I just want to real quickly show you guys some things about indicator bases. And the only reason I'm doing this is I picked up a new indicator base uh, this past week. This is a, a Noga, N O G A, uh, indicator base and arm. Um, and I wanted to share this. I really think this is neat. Uh, and a lot of you guys probably are already aware of this. I just really found out about these things here in the last. Uh, uh, probably a month or so from watching other YouTube guys and and I've seen some guys that are that have this and really have talked good about it and decided to give a give it a shot. So I'm going to give a just a quick talk about some indicator bases and show you this one because I think it's worth taking a look at. All right, we'll um, start by talking about just this um, indicator uh, base and holder here. This has just got this is a standard setup. You know back. 25 years ago when I was working full time in a machine shop, this was kind of the standard setup and it has been around for a long time. Where you have the two arms, uh, it's adjustable, you can move this in and out, you can turn this different ways. Uh, your indicator is, is on a thing here where you can turn it around different angles and get it in to indicate off of different uh, setups. And I guess this has been more or less the standard for uh, an indicator base for many, many years. And this has been probably my, really has been my go-to uh, indicator setup uh, for as long as I've been doing things. This one is made by Starrett. They're made by a lot of different companies. This is just a magnetic base on the bottom here. And um, I, I've always liked this uh, setup, but I have found it sometimes to be a little bit frustrating when I'm trying to get that indicator into a certain spot, and I just can't get it to quite get in there. A lot of times I've got the base down here on the lathe, I'm trying to reach over, and it's just difficult sometimes to get everything at the right angle where it goes in there and you get a good straight shot on it. Um, and that's something that's frustrated me for a while, but I've just kind of always worked around it. Uh, another type of indicator um, base and holder that I've used is kind of this, uh, I guess what you'd call a, a gooseneck. I don't know what the official term is for it. Um, this is one that has kind of, it has a cable that runs through this and you can bend it around in different ways and you tighten it up and it, it holds in place. Uh, we had one of these back years ago. Uh, in the shop that I worked in, and, and I found it to be real useful and helpful. Uh, and this is one that was set up like that. I actually bought a, a bunch of um, uh, 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 machinist tools and stuff from a, a guy at a, it was at a flea market or auction, or I can't remember, it was a lot of stuff, a, a, a big grouping of things. And this was one of the items that was in there. I think I bought a toolbox off a guy that had a bunch of tools in it. This one here is is an import. It's made by Shars. Uh, you know, I've got some tooling made by Shars, and generally speaking, you know, it's not bad for import stuff. But this one here, I've really just always been disappointed in. It doesn't. I can't get it to really. Even when I get it good and tight, there's just some play in it. And I know there are better quality ones out there because I've used them. Uh, but again, this is just one that I ended up with. I'd show this, but um, uh, I'm not real happy with this particular model. And quite honestly, I don't use it that much. Uh, I use the magnetic base sometimes for uh, other applications, but I, this particular one I haven't used. But it, I do like the, the concept because you can just kind of get it around in different angles. And uh, it, it's, it's, it's real flexible. And I wish I had one that was a higher quality uh, setup than this import. Uh, but anyway, that's another type, the gooseneck type. And then the one I just got is um, made by Noga, N-O-G-A again. Uh, and again, I've seen this on several of the videos from other guys out there. And I haven't really had a chance to, to actually use it yet, but this is just a really neat setup. You got a couple of arms here. Of course, you got the magnetic base like normal that tightens down. This is a really strong magnetic base. In fact, I think this one may be uh, a little bit stronger than my Starrett one that has been my go-to for many years. But, you know, with this one, you got a handle here on the side. And when you uh, loosen that up, you can move this around and you can position this thing in so many different ways that it's, it's, it's just, it's really, really um, very flexible and, and it can get into a lot of places. Uh, I've been impressed with this, like I said in the video. So I, I purchased one this past week and just got it in. It also has a micro adjust here. You can uh, move this little dial on the front 
and fine tune your indicator. So if you're trying to get it set on zero and you're just a few thousand, instead of having to jiggle the whole indicator to get it moved there, you just use that fine adjustment. So again, this is just something I wanted to show you guys. Uh, Noga, uh, they've got a good website that shows all their features uh, and you can buy these in different places. Uh, this particular one I paid around $100 for. And again, I haven't used it yet, but I think I'm really going to like it. So if uh, you're looking for a good indicator, uh, base and arms, uh, I want to give this one a look. Mm -hmm.